everybody. Welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Uh, today I'm doing something that I just got in the mail. Um, and by just got in the mail, I mean like three or four days ago. <laughs> I've been really busy. Um, yeah, it's a Kickstarter idea for Jerry's Nuggets. And I believe it's called the Mark Monotone. Um, if you're new to the channel, I... Ooh, you get stick. What, you get stickers? Totally forgot about that. Certificate of Authenticity. Cool, I love this kind of stuff. This certificate confirms that your Jerry's Nuggets marked monotone series playing cards are genuine and limited. It also commemorates your contribution to a significant and historic marked playing card project. They are marked. Cool, so I got a certificate, three stickers. Oh, some housekeeping before we get started. Um, I'm working on a new deck and I have shown it, I believe. Uh, I'll put links for that in the in the description. And I have done other Jerry's Nuggets videos, and I'll put that in the, actually the original one too. I'll put that in the description too. That's one of my favorite videos, by the way, if, you, uh, if you're if you new to the channel. Um, I'm very chatty, so, and I don't know what I'm getting into. So just if you're new, just so you know, I don't know anything. Uh, I go in really blind. Uh, I like to experience cards um, in that way. And yeah, that's about it. Like, subscribe. Thanks for showing up. These are cool. I'm gonna use these. I have a whole bunch of stickers that um, that I'm, yeah. It's weird, I feel nervous. And I've done so many, <laughs> Why? what's going on? Maybe it was my dinner. All right, so let's do the, um, let's do the green ones first. Green means go, and they're numbered, look at that. Man, you can barely see that, or at least I can. Maybe I'm getting old. I need to get my eyes checked. Wait, let's see. It's 1499 of 4200. Cool. And then this is 1187 out of 4200. And then this one is 0634 out of 4200. Cool. So these, uh, oh, there's a lot of good info on the back here, too. This is a Kickstarter exclusive edition. These are licensed by Jerry's Nugget Casino, which is a fake, a real casino. Um, I was gonna say which is a fake because I'm so used to the fake casino cards. I was about to say fake casino, and uh, I, like I said, I actually have a, an authentic. Um, I did an opening of an authentic red one. I gotta get a blue one. Anyways, these are produced by the Expert Playing Card Company, and they're distributed by Riffle Shuffle Playing Card Company in New York, New York. Dude, their zip code is one zero 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 one. Nuts. That's easy to remember. And they're manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. And my stomach will probably make a guest appearance today as I just had breakfast. Cool. So let's do the green ones first. Uh, and they did a bunch of other stuff. They did some, I think they did um, a Gilded as well. And they did like a, a four, like a hollow back, I believe, too. Um, I want to say they started adding stuff. And it was just like, yeah, I can't. I don't like Gilded decks, y'all. And I'm going to do a video on that, too. Oh, looks like we don't need the tool today. Um, oh, we do. Oh, oh, and they're doing the offset too. That's another thing. If you look, if you know anything about Jerry's Nuggets, they do the offset. Um, the offset on the uh, on the seal there. See you later, seal. And they're colored too. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, and there's a there's one person that I look at that perfectly easy to fold in. Look at that. No sticky icky. Uh, there's someone that watches my channel. Thank you, by the way, Eldridge, I believe. And they recommended using TP uh, right here, toilet paper. If you have like a sticky seal, um, and they 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 grab a sheet of toilet paper and they just like dab it on there, and it or even just cut like a little piece off, and then you don't get the sticky icky on there, which is a which is a thing, by the way, if y'all don't know. I'll put the certificate and the stickers over there. We'll start doing the boxes up here. Man, maybe it's allergies. Do y'all hear me? I, I sound stuffy. Got no steam. <laughs> I'm all panty. <laughs> what the heck? So you get a blank. It's going to be a double. Boom, called it. Uh, and then I want to say, yeah, the two jokers are on the other side. Man, I love their jokers. And we'll look at the ace in a bit. Man, they just, they feel really thin. Just from like the two seconds that I've held them. And I know you can't tell till you do a bunch of stuff. I always, I'm always like quick on the... Quick on the drop. All right, let's, dude, it's really thin. Yeah. All right, we'll get to you in a second. We'll get to you in a second. All right, cool. So they're doing the, uh, this is the ace that they have. Um, so it's traditional. Standard pips and indices looks like. 
Oh, and I'm going to say standard quartz, too. Yeah, they're not recolored, which is a really good thing, especially if you're doing magic. I mean, there's a lot of people that say this, too. And I and I noticed this just by performing uh, happy hours um, and not like a, in a professional sense, just for like fun um, with my coworkers when I used to work in um, Los Angeles. Yeah, standard quartz pips and look at that. And that guy the best. Um, and I noticed that and they're like in just this traditional stack, too. The standard stack um and the ace is green i think that's the only different thing but yeah i noticed that uh that man they're really thin i noticed that when you use cards that are like really unique even this back design might throw people off but people react they like know they're marked or something and i don't know the marking system um is it in the middle Did they do something on the, it's a, it says it's a unique marking system. Ooh, I don't know what it is. It passes the riffle test. By the way, if you don't know the, the it, you can watch, I even did this on the hair upon on deck. If you can, if you can, oh, I think I see it. That's amazing. Is that what it is? I'm not even going to tell y'all. I'll let y'all see if you can see it. Uh, the deck is really thin, by the way. really thin, and yeah, man, that's good, dude. This is my thickness right here. I love this kind of thick, especially when the deck is like, yeah, this is gonna be good for card street. I don't know if I'd use this for magic, mainly because I don't perform anymore. Um, and have I told you all the story where? Sorry, I'm sitting here like. I think it's allergies, y'all, because I feel really, uh, really weird. Um, the, um, I was in the, 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 uh, let's do blue light. You know this is going to be the best one. So I was in the, um, Magic Castle one time in LA. And I went through this phase where I was like, I want to be a magician. Like, I wanted to do all kinds of magic stuff. And I would... I would like load myself. So like I would have like decks and uh, let me show you the, and you can see everything in the reflection there, can you? I would load my pack, my pockets and stuff. And so I was ready to go like anywhere, anywhere I went, I would uh, remember to do that sticky. I would be ready to perform. So I would have like two decks, you know, mark stuff. The deck would be in the order that I needed it to be. So it was just ready. And we were going through the uh, through the Magic Castle, and there was a room, like a full like a full room, with tables and chairs, and um, I think even an area for like a bartender. And there's the red one. And I was like, "Hey guys, let's go in here." And I was with my friends. Excuse me. And I did a whole show for them at one of the tables. <laughs> Nobody knew. So if anybody was walking by, they probably were like, oh, look, let's go watch the show. And uh, yeah, it was like, you know, amateur level. But man, it was so cool because the lighting in there is awesome. And they have like really cool felt tables and um, yeah, standard quartz, except for that custom ace. So, yeah, that's my magic. Ha one of the magic castle stories. I have many. Maybe not many, maybe like four, but <laughs> that's one of them. Uh, yeah, standard quartz indices, the USPCC, they look really clean. They did a good job on them. The colors are bright. And the, this one's the thing too. The green one felt, oh man, they're, they're so thin. Like I'm telling you, it's like super crushed. Yeah. And you can see that in the red, they look good, man. Really nice red. Let's compare these. Hmm? Yeah. And the colors are good. Monotone. Marked monotone. I'm going to put these in here so we can, we don't accidentally uh, grab them up. But you get a blank, a double, which a blank is awesome. You can do a lot with a blank. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with a blank. Um, man, my allergies are serious. Like, I want to just go take a nap. Anyways, 
But yeah, I love that. One of the one of my tricks that I did in that in that show. So there's a really cool trick you could do. And you can actually do this with a double. So the idea is that you get a signed card. So you force a card and everything. You force a selection. And then you have um, your double. And I like it also when you get a double card. Like if you get two queens, you know, or something, or two sevens. Man, like, look at this blue, y'all. What? I'll look at the back in a second. This is my favorite one. I knew it. You could taste it, right? It tastes like those little, like, popsicles. Like blue popsicle. I don't like blue Gatorade. I said it. <laughs> but, man, that's blue. I love it. Sky blue. Uh, the camera's not really picking up the boldness of it. In real life, it's like an IRL. Um, what was I telling y'all? Dang, dude. My allergies. Oh, the, the trick. So the, the, the queens. So what you do is, or if you get two cards, and you can do this with the blank as well. What you do is you get, you do a signature, and you try to make that signature identical to another one, right? And what you could do is you could move the signature to another card. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little trick. That's the one, one of the ones I performed at the, uh, these are going to be the same except for that ace. At the magic. I mean, I, dude, I love that place. I used to love going. I was in a club that would meet there, too. Down in the basement. The LAFCM, I believe it was called. It was a Christian's, Christian magician. There's my dude. Christian magician. Um, um, I don't the fam, I can't remember what it was called. It had like a... Yeah, really nice guys, really nice guys. Some of the coolest guys. This is what happens when you get into that. Making y'all hear my tums? It's making all kinds of sounds. Yeah, that's good. Man, these are so thin. Let's see if you can see the, the marking there. I have a guess as to what it is. Um, man, this is the worst riff, because it's so thin. Usually when it's fatter, <laughs> it's easier. Uh, and the stock is really good. Oh, snap. The stock is really good. The finish is good, too. I haven't done any fans. Let's do some fans. I see. Kind of okay. No. Man, I love this. This is a good deck. I'm glad I backed these guys. And I love... Um, the, the Kickstarter was done by, um, by the Expert Playing Card Company. And I've... I think I've done I've back to other stuff that they do. They're printed by US. But yeah, cool stuff. I'm going to have to say um, I like the blue and the red. I like them all, but these two, these two are my favorite. Can I, let's see if I can show all three at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, God bless all of you. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.